slashing, one of the most beneficial skills to have. There have been many players throughout the NBA that have been recognized for their athletic abilities. LeBron, Vince, Jordan, and then there's a game called 2K. Many of y'all may know, slashing in 2K comes with a great luck factor, but this is not always the case. Some of the greatest slashers come from the 1v1 court. Coaster, Zach 2K, and Len. And yes, I admit, rim running and getting contacts in a 1v1 does take skill due to the way that you will need to set up your defender to trigger these animations. So in today's first class of Slashing Academy, we will be going over everything from the basics all the way up to the advanced tips and tricks you will need to become the greatest slasher. Okay, so before we go any further, I just want to go over the slashing tiers. So a 50 driving dunk, I mean, you could get some dunks off, but this is a very low tier of dunking. A lot of your dunks will be blocked or either missed. That goes for the 60 as well. Um, a lot more dunks will go in. It's a mid tier of dunking, but of course, you're not going to get contacts. A 70 driving dunk, honestly, that's really high driving dunk. If you make your player correctly, you have a 75, and then you put on slashing takeover, you will be able to get contact dunks, so just keep that in mind. 84, this is where we start getting to the contact dunks. 84, most of your dunks will go in. No matter what, if you have the right badges on, you'll unlock the contact dunk packages. Just overall, 84 is a very high driving dunk. And then anything past the 90, man, if you're missing dunks, it's just 2K fault. You're going to get a lot of contact dunks. I mean, a lot. If you set up your defender correctly after this, if you have a 90 driving dunk, you're going to be dunking on people. Okay, so let's first start off by going over the most important aspect of slashing, the dunk packages. I know a lot of y'all love to put on these flashy dunk packages, tomahawks, 360s, and back scratchers, but all of those dunk packages make it 10 times harder to become a great slasher because of how easy it is to block them. So I'm gonna go over two sets of dunk packages, one for people that are in the range of between like 60 and 70 driving dunk, and I'll go over 80 to 99. Let's first start off with the 70s. So starting off with the first dunk, CJ McCollum. If we look over it, none of the dunks are like flashy or nothing. It is it's very simple. He just goes up, nothing crazy, no behind the backs. So it's very simple. The next dunk we're using is Klay Thompson. Once again, very simple. No tomahawks. It just goes straight to the basket. Next up, we got reverse off one. Like everything in this dunk package is are simple, nothing too crazy. I don't really like this dunk a lot. Um, so y'all don't really gotta put this one on if y'all don't want to. Next up, basic one-handers off one. I love the basic dunks. It's so easy to dunk on people with them. I never got, I don't think I ever got blocked, or at least not a lot, uh, using basic dunk packages. You also use basic two-handers off one, uh, basic one-handers off two. Uh, these are all really good dunk packages. Uh, next dunks I like to use is hangs off ones and uh, basic hangs off twos. These rarely get blocked as well. You see how he keeps the ball in front of his face instead of going behind his back or anything. And now the two unblockable dunks in the game, the quick drop-offs off one, the quick drop-offs off two. These are literally impossible to block. Like, y'all hear me? Impossible. You cannot block these dunks, okay? So if you really want to be cheesy, what I think I'm going to start doing, I'm going to just take off everything else and just keep these two. And then finally, I got Luka Donix. You can also go with Luka Donix. Dunk package is very clean and simple. But yeah, that's what I recommend doing, just taking off everything. If y'all want to be unblockable, just take off everything and put these two on. Alright, so the next set of dunk packages I will be going over is the 80 range to the 99 range. If y'all have a driving dunk of an 80 to a 99, this will help you out a lot. But as y'all can see, I have a lot of dunks on this player. Like I said in the last one as well, if you just put on the quick drop-offs, uh, you should be good. But if y'all want some variety and some dunks that also won't get blocked, uh, y'all can definitely go with all of these. So the first dunk I'm using is Scotty Pimpin. Two-hand under basket regular. Pro under basket rim pulls. One-hand under basket athletic. Athletic one-handers off one. Two cheesiest ones right here. Quick drop-offs off one. Quick drop-offs off two. The front clutch is a really, really good one as well. Um, this barely gets blocked. Front clutch is off two as well. Switcheroos. I don't recommend this dunk package, but I have it on. It doesn't get blocked a lot. It misses a lot for some reason. I don't know why. Cradle dunk off one. This barely gets blocked as well. Giannis barely gets blocked. Vince Carter is pretty flashy. I don't recommend it. Uh, Clyde Drexler barely never, never gets blocked. Uh, and Michael Jordan. So make sure you guys copy these down. Uh, this will help you out a lot. And of course, for the contact dunk packages, as much as you can get on your player. You feel me? But yeah, with all that, let's move on to the badges. All right, so moving on to the badges you will need in order to almost guarantee a contact dunk or at least to make around the basket. So let's start off with the most important badge, Limitless Takeoff Hall of Fame. 
Many of you were probably thinking that post garage would be the most important, but limitless takeoff is like a cheat. When attacking the basket, a player with his badge will start their dunk or layup gather from farther out than others, making it much harder to block. So therefore, I'm using this badge on Hall of Fame. The next badge is obvious, Poster Roger Hall of Fame. This badge increases the chances of your player successfully dunking on a defender. It also increases the chances of getting a poster animation by a great amount. So therefore, we're going with this badge on Hall of Fame. Up next, we're using Fearless Finisher on Hall of Fame. Fearless Finisher is to help players make contact layups and will also sometimes activate on dunks. It basically strengthens the player's ability to absorb contact around the rim. So for that reason, I'm using this on Hall of Fame. Next badge is Slitherly Finisher Hall of Fame. This badge improves the player's ability to avoid contact when attacking the rim, increases the player's ability to slide through traffic and avoid contact during gathers and finishes at the rim. Once again, I'm using this on Hall of Fame. The next badge I like to use is Giant Slayer Gold. This badge heightens the effectiveness of a player's ability to make layups over taller defenders, boosts the shot percentage for a layup attempt when mismatched against a taller defender, and reduces the possibility of getting blocked. So therefore, I'm using this on gold. Finally, the last badge is very helpful for slashing. It's unstrippable silver. This badge will allow you to attack the basket without fear of a smaller player ripping your poster attempt. And it's our last badge points anyway, so this works out perfectly. Now make sure you guys get this badge layout down, and let's move on to the next phase. Now before we go deep into this step, I want to go over the difference between holding X and using the stick. So let's get into that first. Alright, so first starting off using X, I'm going to do a couple dunks for y'all. And um, really just holding X is just going to give you a random dunk. See, every time, it's not it's not always the same. Look, here we go again. It just gives me random dunks. So now using the stick and putting it in a direction. So I'm going to be pointing my stick all the way to the right. And I'm going to show y'all what happens. So I use my right hand since I'm moving the stick to the right and the same thing for my left if i'm holding it to the left it goes up with his left hand and if i hold down it gives me a flashy dunk so y'all gotta remember that when you're going for contacts and now let me pull up some game footage and i'm gonna show you why i just explained that to y'all so this little clip right here is a perfect example of positioning so as y'all can see i hit him with a move that makes him go too much to the left which opens up a clear lane on my right side and since we're on the right side and he's on the left we're gonna do what we just learned and dunk the ball with our right hand by moving the right stick to the right so basically this clip is the same thing i hit him with another move opening up the right side of the basket basically destroying the defense right here so then i'm gonna attack the right side move the right stick to the right and dunk the ball with my right hand getting an easy contact so in this clip it's a little bit different as y'all can see i'm attacking the left because i see a crack in the defense he's way too much to the right and i know i have the advantage just because i have a takeover badge move my stick to the left and i dunk on him using the left hand all right so for those that have like a 70 ball handle around that range this will be the most beneficial to y'all if y'all are a slasher that's a guard i recommend y'all go watch this video at the top right for my dribble moves if you're a guard of course in this section of the slashing academy i'm gonna show y'all two moves that will open up a lane for y'all to get contacts the most so yeah let's get into that so for the dribble style of course i'm using c gray if you could get c gray on your player c gray is just the fastest dribble style in the game i would definitely go with this Signature size us, we don't have many options, so of course we had to go with Lonzo Ball. It's, it's the best we could do, so that's why I'm going with it. Signature combos, Luka Donick, also the best we could get. We don't even use this combo that much, so it doesn't even matter. Size of escape packages, LeBron James, this is a must on any slasher. Uh, not for guards, though. If you have like a 70 ball handle, this is perfect for you. Moving crossovers, LeBron James as well. Moving behind the back is normal. It's the best we could get. Over spins, basic. Of course, y'all all know the glitchy spin back. Over hesitation, Scotty Pimpin. Over step backs, Jimmy Butler. Y'all all know it's the glitchy step back from 20. Okay, once you guys copy those moves down, we can move on to the next step. So starting off, we're going to go over the glitchy hop back. I'm sure a lot of y'all know this, but I just want to go over it. So all you want to do is hold RT and flick down on a stick and you get this big hop. And right out of it, if you move to the same side as your ball hand, you get a uh, speed boost out of it. So look. Free dunk. This works a lot if you're like driving to the paint. Say you're driving to the paint and then boom, they jump at you. Free dunk. It works a lot. Like, honestly, it does work a lot. Let me show y'all the next move. All right, so the next move I use a lot, as y'all could see in the gameplay we went over, the speed boost, so like this. It opens up a big lane, like whatever side you go to, really, they come up. I hit the speed boost. The left side is going to be open a lot. All you do is flick up and then run. Flick up and run. Very simple. Now that y'all know the two dribble moves to get open easily, let's move on to the builds. 
Now for my build, in my opinion, this is the best slashing build in the game, the slashing four. So of course you wanna go with a power forward. I always go with left-handed and we can press continue. Then we're gonna look for this pie chart right here, mostly blue, a little bit of red. Then for the physical profile, of course you wanna go with the max speed. This build does get a 99 speed. Then for the driving layup, you wanna max it out at 80. Driving dunk, max it out at 91. Standing dunk, 92. So you will be able to get, of course, contacts and you can get standing contacts, so that's a plus. For the mid-range, you want to max it out. You can shoot mid-ranges, so this makes you more of a threat because people have to play you at the mid-range, so easier chance for a blow by. Free throw, 75, and the post fade, 71. You could also do post fades on this build. For playmaking, this build can dribble, of course, so pass accuracy, 67, ball handle, 61, and post control, 73. Your ball handle will go up as we uh, move the height around, so just keep that in mind. The defense, 80 interior, 72 steal, 85 block, 85 offensive rebound, and a 58 defensive rebound. So that's for our badges, 21 finishing, 5 shooting, 14 playmaking, and 19 defensive rebound. For the body shape, I always go with slight. For the height, you want to go with 6-7. So you can see our speed went up, acceleration, vertical, ball handle, everything goes up when you put your height down to 6-7. And the weight, you want to put it all the way down. Wingspan all the way up. And then I would go with slashing takeover, in my opinion. Rim protector is terrible, and you don't even need playmaking, honestly. And then you built the slashing four. So that's my slashing build that I would go with. Definitely feel free to make this build and tell me what y'all think. So the first class of Slashing Academy is officially over. If y'all want more classes like this, we need to break 200 likes first day. I know y'all can do it, man, though. But for real, thank y'all for watching, man. Drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below what y'all think. And last but not least, press the subscribe button and notification button for more 2K videos like this. As y'all probably know, these videos take a lot of time and effort to make. But yeah, with all that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video, man.